Hey hello guys welcome back in this video we'll be seeing our another question on python interview question okay so this is the question which i received from a linkedin post only okay so first i will tell you the approach what the person has you know has given us and then i will try to optimize it and i will try to find uh, find out a different solution you know using some advanced python so if you are fresher then you can you know check out the first solution so let's say the question is that you know count lower characters and capital characters in a sentence or in a word something like that so you can assume that you know you are having a input string let's say input underscore str is equal to hello this is geek coders okay now if you count here uh, capital characters right so this is one two and three right and small is like the length of this minus uh, a small letter i mean minus capital letter right so maybe it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eighteen something eighteen or seventeen cool now i have to you know write a code always if you are writing a code make sure to write the code or logic in a function so let me just write here f count underscore lower and upper or count care something like that cool here i will pass a input string so i will just write here input str cool so if you are fresher or no if you are noob then you can try this way uh, cnt lower comma cnt upper is equal to zero cool okay then i will iterate a loop and i'll check if i dot what is i dot is lower if it is then i have to right here increment this value elif is upper cool here i will write cnt underscore uh, upper plus is equal to one and once it is done then i can say return cnt comma cnt lo uh, underscore lower underscore upper cool and write down and now i am gonna call this function okay and here i will just print the return values we'll see what it returns okay cannot unpack non itable int object okay it is not passing actually cool mm, no 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 it should not break now for i in integer input str right is lower let me run this again no f count character line number 16 line number 8 and line number 16 mm A string can be iterable right now it is okay 18 and 3 cool 3 means cnt upper what is 3 h capital g capital c capital so it counted as 3 and then we have other thing now you know i missed actually this zero okay uh, okay so this is the first way to do now i am going to tell you the second way to do how we can you know do the same thing via some advanced python so i'll just remove everything over here this this is not needed cool and uh, now what i'll do 
I'll try to create a lambda. You know, I am trying to use a lambda. So lambda x, not x. I can use this input str itself, right? Then input str dot what is upper? Not is upper. Let me just write here is lower. If it is is lower, then I'll just return this only. Cool. Here I will choose filter also, and then this will return. So I will convert this into as a list. So okay, I can't do kya. Okay, I I'm not able to do this. So let me you know put it over here only, and this let me just you know uh, let me just uh, assign to a, and let me just return a value just for you know uh, to just tell you what's happening over here. So if I just run this, and if I know, if I run this, then you can see it returns all the characters in a list which are in a small letter. So you understood that you know this is the list, right? Then you can easily, you can easily, you know, uh, use len function. So if you, if I use here len function, then it returns me the same output, 18. Cool. Now hence I have done for you know uh, for the small letters. Or characters, I can you know do the same thing for the upper letter. So just to, uh, change the function is upper. Everything seems okay. Cool. Everything seems okay. Everything seems correct, right? Now, so let me just give here a small or that is not needed. You know what I can do? I can create one dictionary, empty dictionary. Cool, and this will I I mean this I will store in in a key in a key called small. Okay, and this I will small, and for this you know I will store in another key that is called capital. Okay, and here I will return return what dict. so i can also call this function again to just tell you okay what is an issue dict return dict input str cool let me run this again now you can see the output returns like this is small 18 capital 3 now you can you know returns this dictionary also apart from this you no know, actually this is not a correct way to do you know not a very efficient way or we did not handle any any what we can say we did not handle any uh, corner cases now this is the string right here you can see some uh, only alphabet suppose you know i just write here 1 2 3 then do you need to include this also no right so we can also check it whether uh, the giving character is a alphabet or not if it is alphabet then only we can you know apply this rule otherwise we will skip this here only we can see whether is it this is a alphanumeric i mean this is a, a, a alphabet or not if it is alphabet then only i need to do so you, here you have to add some condition okay likewise also you can add here condition also cool in this uh, formula also you can add a uh, one more condition so this is the way you know uh, uh, this is the way how we can find out the count of lower characters and the capital characters in a giving string so i hope that you have understood this concept and uh, this is you know uh, this is all the basic questions i am not saying this is very advanced question but you have to know a uh, different solutions or different logic which you can apply and solve the same problem maybe someone knows better than me and they can you know you can you can solve this problem by a different approach so please post that approach in a comment box so that i will also learn from you okay thank you bye bye